Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm going to go over the AFC playoffs for my 2008 Stratomatic uh, Card and Dice replay. <clears throat> the Bears made the playoffs, but we're going to talk about the AFC first, and then we will get into the NFC um, in another video and what the uh, NFC matchups are. So uh, the AFC field was basically um, undisturbed by my replay. It was basically, it started off the same way um, as the real playoffs did. The uh, wild card weekend was San Diego at Indianapolis and um, Baltimore at Miami. And the winners of those games in my replay will advance. And so we'll see what the matchups actually will be going forward um, based on who wins in the replay. And then this way we can see if there's a new um, AFC champion. I believe Pittsburgh was the champion that year and they beat the Cardinals in the Super Bowl. So we'll see if that all plays out this time. So you got um, San Diego at Indianapolis first, and then we're gonna have we're gonna go over Baltimore at Miami, and then the winners of those games will face Tennessee and Pittsburgh in the second round. And um, so anyway, I I played the game. I didn't record any of them. They aren't on the website. You know, they're not on my YouTube channel. I just played them and recorded the score basically, just to see if we could get different um, winners for the games and compare those to what the actual scores of the games were. And here were the results. All right, so let's get into this. The first game in the AFC playoffs on Wildcard Weekend, that we will be going over and discussing is. The Colts and the Chargers. Now, in real life, the um, Colts were um, 12 and 4, and that record was unaltered in our make believe replay 2008 Stratomatic season because they did play the Bears, but in real life, they lost to the Bears, and they lost to the Bears in the replay game. So their record was unaffected. They were 12-4. and four. San Diego was 8-8, eight and eight, and they were in the playoffs because an 8-8 eight and eight record somehow was good enough to win the AFC West. So um, in real life, it's very interesting. Um, in real life, San Diego won that game 23 to 17. In my replay, San Diego won the game 20 to 17. And they won it 20 to 17 on a last play of the game touchdown pass by Phillip Rivers. Uh, from like the 12 yard line, I think San Diego was like at the uh, Indianapolis 12. And they and he threw a touchdown pass on the very last play of the game. If it had been incomplete or intercepted or anything like that, San Diego would have lost the game. But because of that, because it was complete in the end zone, San Diego won 20 to 17. So what I find really amazing about this particular game is that the Indianapolis Colts were 12 and 4 and San Diego was 8 and 8. And they not only beat them in real life, but they also beat them in Stratomatic. And remember, the key players are like Phillip Rivers is the quarterback of San Diego, Ladanian Tomlinson was one of their running backs. Um, Gates was their tight end. That dude was great. And um, 
And then on the other side, on Indianapolis, you had Peyton Manning, you had Reggie Wayne, you had um, Joseph Adai as their running back. So both teams were loaded with talent, and yet in two specific games, one in Stratomatic, one in real life, the team that was far worse won both of those times. So that's what I find really amazing about that. So anyway, there's the San Diego um, Indianapolis replay, no change, still San Diego advancing. All right. So that brings us to the Baltimore at Miami game. Here's the matchup if you're looking at the helmets. So uh, in real life, the Dolphins actually lost this game to Baltimore by the score of uh, 27 to 9. But in a complete reversal in the uh, 2008 replay playoffs, the Dolphins actually won the game 28 to 22. Uh, the Ravens had a safety in the first half, and after the first half, the Ravens were winning 12-7. But Miami exploded for three touchdowns in the second half to advance to the next round. So we have our four, first non-real-life advancee to the playoffs, or in the playoffs. But still could end up being Pittsburgh winning the uh, the whole thing, the AFC, um, and really even the Super Bowl. So um, that's not really, that doesn't yet affect the AFC champion, but at least it's the Dolphins who will now advance to the next round. And then we will be next discussing the divisional round of the playoffs. Well, now moving on to the divisional round. The first game that we have in the divisional round is San Diego at the Titans. I guess it would be this way. But anyway, San Diego visiting Tennessee in the replay. So uh, what actually happened in real life was that in the divisional round, the Titans were eliminated by the Baltimore Ravens by the score of 13 to 10. But the Ravens did not advance in my replay. So they ended up playing San Diego instead of Baltimore. And as a result of that, the uh, Titans won a very closely contended 10-7 victory over San Diego, eliminating the San Diego Chargers from my version of the 2008 playoffs for the AFC. So that means that the Titans will advance to the, um, I believe, to the AFC championship game. All right, so we're going to discuss the next playoff game in the AFC. And this one, this game was perhaps the best game I've played so far to the point of this recording. And this is the Steelers at home against the Miami Dolphins. And the Steelers won the NFC North. They sat out the first round. Their defense was excellent against the pass and excellent against the run. Going into this game, I absolutely thought that the Dolphins had no chance of beating the Steelers. But they did. They beat the Steelers primarily because they... All right, the final score was 26-24. And, I mean, it was as good a game as it sounds like it was. Um, the, uh, or was it 26-23? Might have been 26-23. But, I mean, it was right in that area. I know that the uh, Dolphins had 26. So, here's the thing. The Steelers missed an extra point, And 
the Dolphins, right near the end of the first half, intercepted Roethlisberger at the goal line and returned it all the way for a touchdown. The interception uh, return roll was two. So they returned an interception from their goal line all the way for a touchdown. So if you give the Steelers the one point that they missed on the extra point and the Dolphins do not return that touchdown, or really even if the Dolphins don't return the touchdown or the interception for a touchdown, then they lose this game. But because they were that lucky on those two things, or really even, I mean, mainly on the interception. I mean, I would have loved to have seen that play in real life. So anyway, because they did manage to do that, they did beat the Steelers and will advance to the AFC championship game against the Tennessee Titans, who will be the home team. Great game. All right, well, that leaves us to discuss the AFC Championship game. There they are, the two combatants, Miami against Tennessee. Now, Tennessee was like 13 and three that year. And the Dolphins, no, the Dolphins are right here. The Dolphins were like 11 and five. The Tennessee Titans defense was rated good to excellent against the run and good to excellent against the pass. Their quarterback was Chad Pennington, as opposed to the quarterback for the Tennessee Titans, who was Kerry Collins. So again, we have a very definite setup that does not favor the Miami Dolphins winning. But they did. The Dolphins won the game 20 to 14. Now there wasn't any there wasn't much crazy stuff happened in that game like in the Pittsburgh game. The Dolphins definitely needed the crazy stuff to happen to beat Pittsburgh. But I mean against Tennessee it was just pretty straightforward. Tennessee just really couldn't do much against it. Now in real life, Pittsburgh won the AFC championship game over Baltimore by the score of 23 to 14. So the score was roughly the same in the AFC Championship game. It's just that the two teams were vastly different. And so now the Miami Dolphins are going to be in the Super Bowl, which I would like to say really gives the edge to whoever ends up winning the NFC. But who knows? Because, I mean, I wouldn't have thought Miami would have gotten this far at all. So there you go, Miami Dolphins, champions of the AFC.